Kia ora guys and girls, we are here playing some more Horizon Zero Dawn and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get all three Blazing Suns at the Valley Meat Hunting Ground. So this is the location of the Valley Meat Hunting Grounds, it is just a little bit east of the Hunter's Gathering. And to do these trials that you have to talk to the keeper and the first trial that we're going to be doing is the firefight trial. For this trial, shoot the containers on Strider's backs with fire arrows. If you hit them right, you'll get quite a blast. If that's what you want. Now pick a rope so I can time you. Now for this trial I do recommend you have uh, the skills uh, Concentration, Concentration Plus as well as Fast Reload. Now you don't need all of those but I do recommend it, it makes it so much easier to do this trial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scan and find all the striders that we're going to attack. We're also going to mark them so we know exactly where they are. And once we've done that we're going to get our fire arrows ready because you're going to need fire arrows. And we're just going to slide down the rope and then shoot all of these. So what you want to do is you want to shoot the canister on the back of the strider with a fire arrow. You only have to hit it once and as you can see I have concentration plus as well as fast reload to be able to get all four of these before the first one even explodes and then you just have to wait for them all to explode and that should be it. That's how simple and easy that one is. So now all you have to do is talk to the keeper to claim your blazing sun. Don't you look smug. Here's your blazing sun. So the next trial is the freeze trial and I'll let the keeper explain how he explains it. If you can freeze enough machines and take them down, I'll consider it a pass. Got it. Slide down a rope so I can start timing. So for this one, your weapon you're going to need is at least the sling or you could use the Kaja sling or shadow sling so you can get those freeze bombs. And then there are also three skills that I recommend you have. Uh, I recommend you have silent strike, low profile and quiet sprint. This will help you with this trial a lot. So for this trial I'm going to do something similar to the previous trial. I'm going to stand up here and I'm going to scan and tag as many machines as possible. When I get down there I'm actually only going to attack striders. The reason for that is because I can freeze them and I can also kill them in one hit. Now something to note, I am using the Shadow Sling and I've also got some modifications on it so I am able to freeze these guys in one hit. If you guys can't do that then definitely come back later when you can or just hit them twice and that should freeze them. After that I'm going to run up and stealth attack these guys. Now the reason I can run right up to them and stealth attack them is because I have all of those points that I pointed out at the start. So continue doing this until you have your 5 machine kills and if you do get spotted so that you can't end up stealth attacking them anymore then what I recommend you do is you use your heavy spear attack. That should take down a strider in one hit as well. Once you've got your 5 machine kills while frozen in under a minute 30, all you need to do is talk to the keeper and collect your reward. You won a blazing sun. Congratulations. Does this mean you'll be on your way? So the final trial that he offers is the shock trial and I'll let him explain that a bit too. In this trial, you'll need to stun bellow backs with shock ammo and shoot off the components in their undercarriages. Get going. Good luck with that. Slide down a rope and we can get started. So for this trial I do recommend you have the skills Concentration, Concentration Plus as well as Fast Reload. And in terms of weapons I recommend having the Kaja Sling or the Shadow Sling. And in terms of bow I do recommend the Shadow Hunter's Bow so that you have the hard point arrows. So once again when we're standing up here we're going to scan for the bellow back. Now you only need to find one. You can do this on only one bellow back if you do it correctly. So you don't need to look for another one like I was just doing then. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide down the rope to get our timer started. Once we get down to the bottom we're going to select our shock bomb. And it's only going to take me two hits before me to stun it completely. If it takes you guys more than that uh, it's just because that I've got some modifications on. And I've also got the shadow sling so that gives me some good uh, shock treatment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shoot off this little bottom part and that will reveal the canisters that we have to shoot. 
Now you have to do this while it is done. So if it stands up and starts walking around, you do not want to be the, knocking them off afterwards. I made sure that I shot one that I hadn't shot yet, just to get a bit more damage. And then we're going to shoot him back with our shock uh, bombs again, so that we can stun him, and then get behind him again, so that we can hit these canisters and once we hit them a couple more times they should just pop off now i am going to be hit by a strider who is very angry at my presence being here so that was a little bit annoying but we managed to get the last one before the ballow back was not stunned so that is how you get all three uh, blazing suns at the valley meat hunting grounds now i've already done a video for the nora hunting grounds and the videos for the following hunting grounds should be up shortly if they're not up already if they're up i'll add them into the card in the top right hand corner so that's it so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you guys have been able to earn all three of these blazing suns and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and see you in the next video